Now, Nigerian security services are hunting for the perpetrators of last month's bombing of the United Nations headquarters in Abuja that killed 23 people. VOA correspondent Scott Stearns reports Muslim fundamentalists who claim responsibility for the attack say they are fighting for an independent Islamic nation. Nigerian authorities blame the car bombing of the UN headquarters in Nigeria on an alleged terrorist named Mama Noor, who officials say trained with Al-Qaeda-affiliated Al-Shabaab militants in Somalia. They connect Noor to an Islamic sect known as Boko Haram. The bombing is the highest profile attack tied to the terrorist group, whose name translates loosely as Western education is forbidden. Boko Haram does not recognize Nigeria's constitution or the election earlier this year of President Goodluck Jonathan. Mr. Jonathan is under pressure to stop the violence and is working to deflect domestic criticism over his handling of the crisis. On any individual or any part of the world, it's a terrorist attack on the rest of the world. Because terrorists don't care about who is anywhere. So the issue is not just the UN office in Nigeria. The issue is not Nigeria, but the issue is global. President Jonathan shook up his national security team following the bombing and says greater civilian participation in surveillance will help defeat the terrorists and their sponsors. But little is known about Boko Haram. Abubakar Umar Kari lectures in sociology at the University of Abuja. It's like a mystery. Uh, sometimes the more you look, the less you see. And its existence is also shrouded in, in a lot of controversies. Uh, there have been a number of uh, conspiracy theories about uh, who are behind it, what it does, what its objectives are, and so on. Bombings blamed on Boko Haram began after its leader died in police custody three years ago. Kari says the government's military approach missed the opportunity to address the issue as one of religion. Who are these people? What do they profess? How are they uh, objectively similar and diametrically opposed to the mainstream Islamic faith? What are their grievances, if any? Human rights activist Sheikh Hussani writes extensively on Boko Haram. He says the group's fundamentalism appeals to a dissatisfied generation of Nigerians. And their method of preaching have always been anti-establishment, and when I say establishment, I don't only mean the political establishment, but even the religious establishment as represented by the Sultan and the Emirs in northern Nigeria. We have seen the growth of a new generation of radical Muslims in northern part of Nigeria that have chosen the road of armed struggle. Sani says security forces appear overmatched by Boko Haram terrorists. Nigerian security forces are ill-equipped intellectually and materially to handle a violence of this sort for the reasons that those who are planting bombs and those who are picking up arms against the state are better funded and better connected are more determined than security agencies. The Obama administration says it's helping President Jonathan's government track Boko Haram financing through a program established following the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks in New York and Washington. The U.S. Treasury Department says that tracking program is aiding investigations into last October's Independence Day bombings in the Nigerian capital. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Abuja.